I hear them. I. So basically, there was this girl. I I have to leave like really really soon because I have university and I and I finally think that I am going to stay after uni studying the library because I've been saying I'm gonna do that all week. But have I been doing that? Obviously not because because I finished classes. I'm like. I'm gonna do that today, I'm gonna stay, I'm gonna finish some maybe two assignments and go back home and I have a video coming out tomorrow which I haven't even finished the final a rough cut because of this assignment that I was working on for three hours for six hours yesterday with my friend I was on call for six hours. Also I have some other news that I have stuck to about. I just made a monster a second one. And the last video said that you you're gonna see me with my hair cut but that's not gonna happen. One thing I realized so far, if you're going into university next year, here's a tip. Do not wait until the last minute to finish your assignments. Do not wait at all out to like figure it out instantly because the assignments pile and pile and pile on top of one another. It's not like school at all. Like at school, you can you can miss an assignment for a week and do it the next week and you're gonna be able to finish it in like an hour. But here, assignments take long. They take like really long. They need you to think, they need you to analyze, they need you to do blah, 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 blah. And I'm not about to do that. Mm -mm. Okay catch me doing that stuff because I'm not that type of person to do that stuff you know I have so much news to tell you because so much stuff happened in the last weekend that I didn't talk to you about because I was in a rut for a while and I couldn't really get out I get I realized that I get in ruts like really quickly if you have any tips on how to not get into a rut really quickly tell me because I get so overwhelmed and stressed that everything piles up on top of one another so then I'm like oh <laughs> I have such a depressing playlist that I play music off. Right now, I'm listening to... I just arrived at here. So tired that I had to stay. I stayed and I socialized. And let me tell you, I don't know if I want to do it ever again. For what? We're gonna be doing face masks. As my mom. This face is mask. the Dead Sea mud mask. Oh, it's cool. This is so weird. I've never, I've never done a mask. Really? Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean, really? It's like the New York of Egypt. Oh, it's burning my skin, Maya. Yeah, and it's just, it's fine. It's hard to process. I swear if I turn out with a skin rash. It's time to wash all this off. I was feeling extremely new. Yeah, so I'll tell you what happened today. So today, after I went to go study with my friends, I went back to me and I was planning on leaving. But then I saw one of my then I saw one of my old friends that I haven't talked to in so long. I barely see them. And they took me around the university with them. So I basically sat with them until five. And then I saw one of one of my friends come into the university. And so I sat with them and it was multiple people, so I sat with them and then I came back at six. It's been a long day, like I really want to sleep. Yeah, so basically, I'll tell you tomorrow, honestly. Because I was going to explain to you what I wanted to tell you in the morning, but I'll, I'll just tell you tomorrow. Because I'm not too tired to talk right now. Good morning, beautiful.
beautiful people. Okay, so let me give you the rundown of what happened. What I want to tell you, I feel like I'm being more dramatic every time I see it. Let me tell you what happened, but like, so basically there was this girl that I like, and I basically told her that I liked her, and um, she didn't like me back, you know? Good thing my sister was was with me when I told when I found out, because because if she wasn't with me, I would have got really upset, but my sister was with me when I got her response back after I texted her, and you know, she didn't like me back. The first thing that happened to me when I found out, I was trying to tie things with my self-esteem, and like stuff like that, but then I just decided not to think about it like that because it's okay not everyone not everything is gonna work out the way you want it. yeah that, that's the news i have for you that's it that's what i wanted to tell you yesterday but like but like i forgot to because i've been busy like actually busy and yes it does hurt she's the first girl i ever uh, told her how i feel told you know because usually when i like when i like someone i'd basically not tell her, tell her until after i stopped liking her because i'd be scared and i was terrified of telling her but did anything happen no it was fine it's fine it's life you know not say i have some other stuff i want to talk about but not right now because i need to go i need to start getting on the move i need to go on the i need to go basically we need to leave because it's uni time but my outfit is this can't find the belt though so keep spotting on found the belt well, I'll tell you why I'm not upset about it. Okay, multiple reasons. First off, when I found out, I was with my sister, so it's fine. Second thing is, um, I haven't processed it yet. Process, processed it yet. Like, I usually take time to process these things, or I avoid it, so basically my brain's avoiding it, and tries to cling on to anything else that might be upsetting me, so I don't think about this, so my self-esteem doesn't go down. Basically, yeah. Am I still gonna be friends with her? Yes, obviously, but am I going to see her anytime soon? No. I, mean, I just need to process everything before, before, I see her, which is fine. It happens, you know. Nothing's wrong, like it's not her fault, you know. You can't control who you like. Like it's not really her fault. Please don't believe any of the BS I just said. I am a liar and I'm pathologically lying to you right now. And the time I was, so don't believe anything I just said because all of that is not true. Because that's not how I feel about the situation. So yeah. Also I'm recording this on the day this comes out. <laughs> I literally finished classes like 11:30, and I don't know why the hell I decided to stay at uni, but I just I stayed. And then I was like, and then I was like, okay, we're gonna do some work. And I worked for a while with my friends, but then I was like really, really tired. And so we went to a coffee shop, and like it was like a brunch place because we've been going to brunch every single day. Like yesterday we went to brunch, and today we're going to brunch. Like call us sophisticated, call us bougie, you know. But yeah, we've been doing that, and it was actually really, really fun. And so far, I'm like waiting for someone in the car because I am extremely exhausted, and I'm waiting for someone to get dressed because I'm gonna go home now. After you don't know this person, but like yeah. I was with my friend in the beginning and it was fun and let me tell you i i just feel i just feel kind of tired kind of i have a birthday tomorrow and i don't know what's going on but like i'm actually so tired of everything i have so much stuff i have to do i have an exam on wednesday and i don't even know what to do like i swear to god like it's like actually so much work so much stuff to do and i'm like so tired like i'm drowning you know but yeah I'm, i just like need so much stuff to i need someone to help me but I'm, edit I'm editing in the car because I have a video coming out today and I'm like really really behind on the editing and I have an assignment that's due today but like prioritizing the video because I haven't been able to edit at all you know what I mean but yeah that's what I've been doing so far and other than that yeah that's it I'm just exhausted like I'm can you tell that I'm exhausted like I could have just went back home and slept but like I don't know why I didn't do that I just wanted to torture myself I'm just kidding I had fun it wasn't really fun though but I had a good time like I've been having a good time every time I say at uni but like it's just so far what I got for you I'll talk to you all at home I just arrived home and let me tell you, I have never been happier to be home. I just want to stay at home for so, so long. So I'm like, actually, my butt hurts. Like it actually hurts from driving. Let me rant for a couple of minutes because I know I'm ranting, but like, I'm just happy to get this AC. Hi, you I changed. I wore, I wore sweatpants because I... Really All right, we've got lunch right now. I'm gonna eat, watch, and then continue editing because I have a lot to edit. I love you. 
Hey, I'm so tired. I'm genuinely, I could crash. Ugh, I could crash right now. Like, I could literally go to bed right now, but like, I can't go to bed right now because I have stuff to do. And I don't want to do these stuff. Someone fucking get me. Like, I literally could have taken back after after uni and taken a nap. But my damn ass, actually, it was a good idea to say, but like, at the same time, I was like, maybe I need to take a shower, like, now. I want to take a shower so badly because I feel so, I feel so disgusting. And I don't like being disgusting because uni just makes me so, ugh. or actually, it's the weather. Like, I really. I literally can't do any work if I if I'm hot, if, I, if I'm feeling hot. Not hot as in hot, but hot as in hot. You know? Yeah. Good morning. I'm so tired. I'm genuinely exhausted right now. Like I just need to go back to bed, but I can't. Anyways, good morning. I have to, so I have to be at uni in like an hour. Yeah. And I don't want to go. I just want to stay in bed and sleep. I swear this is torture. I have a test tomorrow, and I still haven't studied for it. And I have a birthday today, which I probably won't go to. I'm just, I'm just so exhausted, you know. But I'm gonna make a matcha and get dressed. I need to wear something comfortable because I'm gonna be at uni for about six. Hours maybe I don't even know anymore. No, it's four hours. Yeah, I'm gonna be at no six hours. I'm gonna be at uni for six hours. So that's gonna be extremely fun. But like, I don't really want to go to uni. I don't want to go because like exhausted. I don't know what to. I'm gonna make a mantra right now, and then I don't know what then. Let's get dressed. <laughs> I wore it before, but like I don't really care. Like my clothes get washed really often, so like I don't really care. If anyone see me in this before? Of course you're gonna see me in this. Like you know, I'm gonna get a hot. I just arrived at uni to do my project, and then I have like a class that I have to take that's mandatory because this university has it gives you stuff that you have to take that are mandatory. I don't know why. Isn't it enough that I already come to uni? Like you know what I mean. everything I have in uni and now I'm in the bathroom and I'm gonna leave but yeah Thank you so much for watching. I really enjoyed hanging out with you that day. Actually, those two days, they were really nice. Like, I, after after I closed with you, I literally went to my friend's birthday and I kept studying. So, I really, I don't know. Thank you so much for watching and like, subscribe, turn those post notifications on. And I'll see you on Monday with a brand new video. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why I'm being weird. Love you. Look how you grew.